Today, I wanted to test does rank really matter in Rainbow Six Siege, especially with rank 2.0. So what I did is I took five previous top 100 champ players versus normal champ players. So what I mean by normal champ players is you just had to be champ the last few seasons and you never got top 100. Let me know down in the comments, do you think rank matters? And more especially, do you think champion rank matters? For example, top 100, or do you think it's all the same? Let me know down in the comments if you want to see future videos like this. And I'll be doing these live streams more on my Twitch. So if you want to head over, maybe be in one of these videos, let me know down in the comments what style video or what rank video you would like to see. Let's get into it. Sheesh. Okay, so at one point or another, this team on the left, which will be the attackers, they have all been top 100 in the last, since champion has been out. Um, as you can tell, we have one right now. That's 78. That man has a 9.9. .9. Goddamn. To be honest, man, I don't know much about MNK. Like, who's MNK and who's not? So, honestly, that blows, but, um... <laughs> Hopefully, uh, I can see how they're top 100 at some point, to be honest. It, it does, it does kind of suck, but, you know. Let's see what strats you guys can bring up. You guys do got defense first. Okay, so we got top 100 players banning, what is that, Jackal? Okay. Wait, no, 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 defense. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Defense, um, defensive players, which is normal champs, and banning Jackal. We got the Thatcher ban, pretty standard, especially for like the style of video or even like rank rules. I don't want to say Thatcher's not worth the ban. Is Thatcher being banned? I feel like players are just so used to Thatcher being off the board now that it's like, oh, when he's up on the board, people are like, what the hell is this? Got the solo span, very good man. I, I actually messed up in my tier list that I posted. That uh solo, so I meant to put her in S tier. I should have put her in S tier. I trolled. All MK users are stupid. Controllers beat MK by being smart. Yeah. I don't know. That's just one of those things I couldn't control to be honest. I just I wanted to do this video. I hit up Fade and he had his uh people. So Capcan's a good band though. Hmm. Yo, that that Twitch skin kind of goes hard though. I'm not gonna lie. Hold up. Can I can I get my stupid Muppet face out of the out of the screen here? Hold up. Uh, I'm trying to think. Where can I put this? Right here. So you can see all the game. Let me get my charm thing all the way up here. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool. Attackers right. need to locate and defuse. Quick bombs. vote. So it looks like that the defenders did go upstairs and master just a standard hold. Damn, bro, these these camera settings are weird, bro. They're super slow. So we're seeing the Jaeger and Lamai, which is kind of weird. I don't know if I'm I'm bringing that much denial for, for this team, to be honest. Like I I would I would need something like more traps, like a Malusi or um they have Finier, they have Legion. I would I would say more cams actually. More cams would be way more solid for this, bro. It looks like they are trying to get some drones down and they do succeed on that yeah like I, I don't know man they have like no intel here bro joe nine looks like he's going to be going for some type of spawn peak he does have a bulletproof cam in pocket looks like he's going to be tucking now they do get that twitch drone holy shit fade is or this ignite guy is just going everywhere with that aim oh starting out jam nine with the first frag picks off the ace that's a big frag bro it, all they have to do right now is actually bunker down. Like, J09 does not need to do anything extra. Throw down that bulletproof cam. Yoki lags out. It's a 4v4. That's tough, to be honest. Goddamn. My man J09 is feeling frisky after that first kill. Ooh, smoke playing smart here. A loud ass device. Now, the top 100 champs are now taking trophy control. It doesn't look like any of them have hard breach device, so they're kind of just having a raw dog this like my dad before he left. Really good twitch over here. Oh, picks up a fucking Finier. Finier's now dead. Damn. Just like that, it's a 3v4. Got a good flank cam. They know someone's top white. They're taking out of control. Smoke got timinged. Smoke is about to die. Smoke died. Oh my god, bro. Just like that, they drop, bro. Damn. I'm not gonna lie, him lagging out 
kind of like kind of kind of like sucked there i'm not gonna lie i kind of was a troll on their on their behalf having that man legged out to be honest they needed somebody to be contesting those head holes or trophy a little bit longer or they needed to reinforce after jail nine killed that ace they needed to reinforce that head hole because them having that, that head hole like soft allowed these attackers to just ash the wall and now there's so many entrances that they can enter from so you have somebody on on a uh, big window you don't have breach open but now they still have an entry into attic and nobody's playing attic right there's Attackers no utility to there and as many bombs as they can. hopefully they can they can tee up after that hopefully yoki doesn't get kicked again i don't know if he had an audio bug or what but um we are we're still seeing the my jaeger thank god jo 9s actually throwing down his bulletproof cam it's only contesting master yeah exactly you need you need like somewhat like contesting i'm not saying playing over aggressive but like doing something or just reinforce up that head wall but it doesn't seem like we have any like unique strats going on right now we have the you know jaeger putting ads's for attic if they're gonna push attic i don't think these guys are the type of to go attic though they seem like they're just gonna be go direct and try to take as many gunfights as possible which is valid. Ash does have a cam under the bunks as well. Interesting. Wait, who is that across the map? Joe 9 is setting up in the attic. They are reinforcing off the head holes this time. Who was that? Who was that I saw? My bad. Oh, I'm seeing Jaeger. That's what it is. So Joe 9 might catch somebody going in the garage, but it looks like we have four people stacked. For master, bro. They're already taking master control already, bro. They just shot over Jail 9s head. Cage tries to contest but dies. Oh my god, they already got two picks, bro. The round just started. No, bro. Come on. Jaeger's gonna have to do something. One of these guys are going to have to try to get some type of pick. They're feeling the pressure right now, man. Oh, this is not looking good. Jaeger potatoes a little bit. Takes Twitch's HP, but damn, bro. He needed that frag. Umai needs to try to get active here. Maybe take the one on head holes or attic. But it... He hears him drop. He hears the shot go off. Can't get the timing. His crosshair placement was perfect there for a second. Got a double kill on the Rooney, and it's already 2-0. Oh my god. Is hip leaning good on console? I do play PC. Yeah, I'm champ on PC. Uh, it, it's good. It's good for like shotgun plays. These guys need to bring a little bit more util. They need to have a little bit more contesting. They need to have ghost pressure. Yeah, I'm live doing this for a video. By ghost pressure, basically what I mean is they need to have like some type of lines of sight or some type of utility that's going to stop them from pushing. I'm not going to lie, Jill 9 You're saying they're all MNK and that's valid. They are, but you guys are playing like they're like that's the only thing like they they have wall hacks or something bro like you you need to you guys need to contest you guys need to bring more utility that's going to contest them you can't win this by all playing separately defenders protect your bombs from being like i get it mnk is a hundred percent not fair at all but the enemy team even if they were all five on controller bro they are all playing together bro literally all of them are playing together every single one of them bro they are droning each other in they're taking map control because you guys are not contesting them so no matter if they're on mnk or they were on controller it doesn't matter the inputs because they're still gonna if they're playing that the same exact way they're gonna win same with you guys if five of you guys were on controller right now i mean on mnk you would not be winning you guys just need to tee the hell up it's good you guys are bringing more utility attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb yeah, I just hate when people like automatically like don't get me wrong. They are MNK. I'm not I'm not like agreeing with that, but you act like look at look how they're playing. Look at this WC4 first pick. Look at this. Don't let them gain that control. Don't let them play confident. They're playing fast. We do not need to be roaming Zulu side. Get the fucking side play refrag. Look at that. Look at that pre-fire. You're playing more confident, bro. Come on, bro. Fade gets an instant trade off onto Jail 9, which was the Malusi. Not too much utility gone off the Mel, so not a bad kill. The MNK users, aka top 100 players, are at a man disadvantage. It is a 2v4. 
Twitch and Blitz are gonna have to pull a sock out of their ass to win this. They do have elbow open, which is interesting. Reloading. They need to not give the Blitz goddamn ones. This guy, how is he not dead? Oh, they're giving him ones. Coming, what are they coming. doing? They are throwing. Oh my God, bro. Thorn is left in a 1v2 scenario with uh, probably a combined 100 HP on the top 100 players, but they do have the Blitz, so he can kind of face stuff quite a bit. This guy, that's easy money, bro. That's easy money, bro. What am I, come on guys. You guys had it and then you guys just gave them isolated ones, bro. Like, what am I watching? Isolated ones. Jesus, bro. Yo, you know what I feel like? I feel like some freaking Fruit Loops right now. They did sell hard. They did sell hard. They gave the they gave them ones, which they don't need to. <laughs> they gave them ones. So now it is 3-0. So this is match point because this is ranked rules. So the top 100 players are clean 3-0 right now. I, I actually don't think this has anything to do with M and K. And I know I'm going to see comments on this YouTube video. People being like, bro, M and K is cheating. I get that. Defenders protect your but from being <laughs> it's the play attackers. style, bro. Like they're playing more confidently. They're playing off of info. Like, bro, come on. It has nothing to do with controller versus M and K. It's just these guys are actually using their utility to open up the map control as attackers. They're doing what attackers are supposed to be doing. Now, maybe they, they're just having a rough start. The regular champ players, that's valid. But they just need to play a little bit slower, play it a little bit more together. Elk is pre-placing a C4 for classroom. For anybody trying to get the wall, hopefully they actually drone that out. So we have one my spawn peeking. We have only one my spawn peeking, I think. We have two hard breaches, so it looks like we're going for an attic split. Let's see if one my gets a spawn peek. That's not actually a bad spawn peak. I haven't seen that in a while. So they have three hard breaches, which is quite interesting. But hopefully they can make it work. Aids Gnite is over here just teabagging. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, people want to always blame MNK. And it is cheating. But at the end of the day, you can beat MNK stacks if you're good players, just based off of like situational awareness, bro. Can you change my title, uh, Ace? Okay, so. I think Jo9 opened up Attic. Yeah, he did. We also have the Mav, which is also interesting. Falk is getting very aggressive. Maverick picks him off for that stupid aggression. Gets a sweet double kill. Ace is getting another pick. A 1v5. They're, they're trying to come back. If they let Smoke get this easy 1v5, I'm going to be pissed. What are you guys doing? We're pulling in every angle. He, he does know he's Smoke and he can throw Smoke Grenades. You do know that, right? I understand you're trying to keep your gun up. Oh, that was almost crazy. Come back. Come on, bro. Come back. Run them up. Let them know, bro, that this, no matter if you're top 100, it does not matter, bro. That, that's the confidence they should have been playing on defense. That, re, that, that structure, that simple structure. Those, those are some really good shots coming out of uh, Conjured. On the Maverick. Very good stuff. These guys are going to play super aggressive. They're going to play super careless as defenders because they're up 3-0. They can afford to do that type of stuff. And hopefully these guys can take advantage of it. It looks like once again they'll be bringing three different hard breachers. Killa, you are down bad saying Zim on top. Um, now they're bringing two. They swapped off. They're bringing more soft destruction, which is also very smart if they got the head holes or any utility that they need to clear. Um, a zombie's going to be bringing out some cheesy little zombie spots one ways, uh, as you can tell. So it looks like Lamai is trying to teach him an angle. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what he's cooking up. Is it, Oh, wait, what? What is he doing? I'm trying to figure out. Bomb located by attackers. Okay, he's showing him a lineup. Okay. What? What is? What does this do? <laughs> bro, get the get out of here, bro. If he dies, if he kills someone like this, I'm dead, bro. I didn't even see what these guys were doing, like the the, the regular champ players, but 
God damn. They're in for it, bro. Taking that, pushing that angle. Hey, Chunky Cat, what's up? Better. Okay, so we have orcs popping all these hatches. A rare orcs pick. Very interesting stuff here. Looks like they're going for the same exact take over here, as you can tell. I don't know if that's Athena's angle. Uh, I don't know, bro. It looks like that Goyo is going to be lurking downstairs garage slash main lobby. Nobody's really too concerned about him. They are going for that same split take, which seemed like it worked flawlessly last time. Hopefully they don't. Oh, show him why Warden's ass. Beautiful pick coming from JL9, picking off that Warden. They, that's the momentum they need. I'm trying to see where this Orcs is at. So this Orcs might actually just get this flank here, which is going to be quite sad if they actually lose this. But right now, Azami and Wamai is the last two people on site. So it looks like Oryx might have timed this perfectly, to be honest. There's a lot of pressure coming in on the top 100 players. Azami is going to be stuck in this corner. It looks like Oryx is finally going for this flank, but it is a 1v5 on the site. Oryx is looking for any claymores, and he's getting, he's getting double penetrated. He's actually getting anal. He's stuck now on the top of the meeting hatch trying to find somebody. The timing is not there, bro. The timing. Flawless round coming from the controller. Regular champion. And this is what I wanted to see. Make this a game worth watching, bro. Good for them, bro. They had a drone? Yeah, I saw that drone on bottom, uh, bottom staircase. I just didn't know if anybody was on it since everybody was alive. So it looks like the top 100 players will be going down in laundry. We're, we're very content on the warden pick, which personally I hate. Unless you know an enemy team is going to be bringing, you know, a lot of uh, like ying or blitz or, you know, just flashes in general. But I guess it is that warden meta crutch that people love to feed into, which is fine. It's just I, I think there would be better alternatives rather than warden 1.5. Personally, I would go more for like a thorn or, need to you know, and somebody bombs. with more utility just in case like if Warden dies or the person that would have been Warden, if you die as like thorn, at least you have utility left over, right? For your teammates, just in case, like for example, uh, thorns, you know, honeycombs or even Goyo's Goyo canisters. But I, I get it. People want to run around with an easy MPX, no recoil gun. That's fine. But I, I still think thorn is just overall better. Uh, let me stop yapping about uh these stupid freaking uh oh he's barricading that i thought he's checking for drones let me stop yapping about why i hate warden so it looks like they're going for a horizontal over which is an entire map clear which means that they're going from the other side of the map over they're going to be opening up the freezer hatch they're going to be clearing anybody playing zulu which is this z hall because it's shaped like a z and it looks like nobody's going to be feeding into that and no contesting so it looks like these guys are going to have early map control. I think this might be bugged. I don't know. But this hatch is soft at the moment, guys. Which I think it is bugged. We are going to see nobody feeding into the mirror strat going in a bunker. Which is honestly kind of sucks for the top 100 players. Because as you can tell, like they're all going horizontal over. Uh, they see Wamai on the barricade. It looks like Wamai kind of knows. But he's trying to play the tucked corner. Which this is a really good... Come on, Nomad. Come on. Oh, this is really good drone work, guys. Oh, and he gets shit on. That's insane, bro. It also looks like Doc will be taking a one on the Twitch. Disrespectful. Kills him, and that's the bomb. So we're already in a 5v3. Zofia's taking a meeting right now. Warden is sitting bottom main. It doesn't look like the regular champion players are in a good position here. But we do have a lot of time left in the round. He, ha he had like a pixel. Yeah, I, honestly, I just thought he didn't. I thought he just had like a... Uh, thought he was just trying to play tucked. Damn, that man's sense is fast. Warren is playing an aggressive angle on top main. He might be able to get a flank down on meeting or Zulu. Buck, don't... Oh, holy shit. Put him in that goddamn dirt, bro. I was about to say, man, him running like that is scary. So we do have somebody on back stairs. He's going to be stunning out, trying to get the flash. He's trying to act off the cam. Ooh, ooh, Doc is picking up a lot of HP off this Habana. Doc can afford to do that since, you know, he's Doc. Yeah, back to 100 HP. Everything that Habana just went through was for literally nothing. 
Looks like Habana is going to be rotating Bunker with a minute left on the board. They oh, is, do have these double attack. mirrors, which has nothing to do with box. So if they can take this Bunker control, they're going to be in a very solid position. Hopefully they drone out this guy that's sitting in Bunker. If they do have a drone, they did see him on the drone. Don't re-drone him. He's going to shoot your cam, and that's going to be a waste of intel. Look at that. Habana is going to be trying to act off this, but he's getting swung by the Doc. The Doc is blinded. Blo Doc still killed somebody. Doc is getting the fuck up. Doc gone off. What are you doing, Habana? I'm at all. Top 100 players in a 4v1 with 20 seconds to go. And it looks like it's going to be an easy W. They're going to be taking map one. Taking a zombie's head off. He's, he's going to be swinging one I would not, I would not be good for commentary. <laughs> so top 100 players win the first game. I'm at awe. I'm at awe. I'm at awe. Nothing, like I don't care what anybody says. MNK had nothing to do with that game. I don't care what anybody says. MNK literally did not mean anything that game. It all came down to structure. And it seemed like the, the the regular champs, they seemed to actually like get some stuff going that game, which I, I on the on the attacker side, which I'm honestly really happy to see. Hopefully we actually see a better adjustment coming out from them. But now we're going on the regular champions map two. Um regular champion, they picked border, they're gonna be starting on attack, and top one hundred is going to be defending. Hopefully we get a map three, because I'm gonna let chat pick the map three. Um, if it goes one-to-one, -one, a draw. So, there's a guy who told me to not join. Losing to a guy who stimmed in front of him. <laughs> King, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so, the defenders is the blue team right now, which is the top 100. And the orange team, which is going to be attacking, they are the normal champions. So, the top 100 is going to be starting out with a Dokubi ban. Very default good ban. What's up, Ben? Sorry that you got all those random ads. I don't really know how to... I don't have my ad controls, to be honest. I just stream, to be honest, so I apologize. Uh, the attackers, which is the normal champions, it looked like they just banned Osa. Can we do per pull for a third map? Honestly, if we make it to it, yeah. But I, I don't know. After watching last game, I don't know if we're making it to a map three. Um, we, we have a Finier ban, which is, once again, a good default ban. You can ban Finier on every single map, and... It's, it's just solid overall. I can't complain about anybody banning Finier. And then a Capcan. Very, very good ban. On console especially because sometimes you just miss drone and you don't want to drone. Or like, yeah, so many traps. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Benny. That sucks, bro. Okay, so starting out once again on the defensive end, we have the top 100 players that just cleared these normal champion players last game. It looks like the normal champion players are going to be bringing a ace with a Thatcher. Personally, on border, I'm not a big fan of bringing the ace for the main wall, if that's what they're going for. It does give the attackers more flexibility to push multiple walls and do it at a distance. So, for example, if ace wanted to go office, opened office single wall, and be at a distance and not have to actually be inside office, that's very solid. We are once again seeing a attackers need to locate player leave the game, which sucks. But, you know what, last game, the other team had to deal with the 4v5, so I think it's just fair that we don't rehost. Um, but, personally, if they're going for the front wall, I would much prefer a Thermite, because there's a lot of inconsistencies when opening up a big breach like this. For example, somebody can be crouched under the breach, or you just don't have all the same lines of sight that you would normally have if you had a Thermite. So, personally, that's why I'm saying screw the ace. But I guess he's listening because he swapped over to Thermite. Interesting. So it looks like it looks like Thunderbird might be playing mad aggressive here. He's sitting on main lobby, aka West Main, and he's sitting on the default cam waiting for somebody, seeing if he can get that early entry. It also looks like Warden is spawn peeking as well from break room. So we have two rats trying to get their frags. Thunderbird's walking out trying to pre-fire off that bearing nine. He's getting a home just by a lick of a nipple. Almost taking Ash's head off. There's no utility on Mar on. I almost said marble. What, what what am I talking about, bro? 
<laughs> on metal. Warden is running around with his fat jiggly butt. Oh, Warden might be getting a pick here onto the Ash. I guess not. They are droning out the Warden. I dipped? Uh, no. So it's top 100 champs versus normal champs. We're seeing seeing if th that means anything. Like if being a top 100 means anything or champ it just is the same skill rank. Ooh. So the top 100 players are now at a man disadvantage being in a 3v5. I like how they're taking the map very, very slowly. They're getting as much information on where these uh, defenders are at and playing accordingly because they have three minutes to work around the map, guys. They know one's close as well. So Thermite will be opening this wall. I don't know if they know this guy has a shotgun, but if they get swung, that's going to suck, bro. Because he's playing very confidently close. There it is. Thunderbird picks up one. Ash picks up Fade Knight, which was the... Goyo in sight. Sorry, guys. I don't cast that much. One's half wall, and it seems like they're, they're not aware that the last two are front lockers. That's going to be concerning. Warren picks off one, 2v3. Top 100 champ players are still at a man disadvantage. But Warden actually using his flashes. Oh my god, I guess this is something we only see for Warden players that's top 100. Good for them. Good round for the normal champs, though. They played this very smart. We're seeing a more confident team than what we've seen last game. Uh, because last game, man, on their defense, they sucked. Like, they look like a bunch of coppers facing pro league players. But now they're actually running it up for the money and they're playing more competitively. I know that was only a 4v5, but I'm really happy that they played it very slow, very thorough, made sure that they had all the angles um, cleared. Going to the end of that round was a little bit questionable, but yeah. Who is near DOA? This guy's a fanboy. I'm. Oh, I, I, have, I have no idea what DOA is, to be honest, bro. Uh, anyways, so we are seeing a, a lot more drone denial. So we're seeing the Solus and Mozzi, which is a very lethal combo. Defenders protect I like the castle pick, man. Castle's attack. very underrated when you have a good castle strat. Let's see what a top 100 castle strat looks like. So he's castling off double. So it uh, looks like they're going to be extending into break room. They're going to be creating some type of rotation in 90. And I assume that they're going to play 90 very heavy here. Them castling all of this off is very good, but it can, it does have its uh, downsides to it. For example, if they go for an office take, which I'm assuming that's what they're trying to pressure them into taking, um, it's going to be hard for them to try to retake, break, um, and actually get a flank down. But if they do pop any of the hatches, they can get a rotation. And as you can tell, they're extending in the fountain, so they have so much map control, even if it's only ghost pressure. As you, yeah, this is a, this is an insane this is an insane one. Wow. Okay, so it looks like they're droning out break room. For, I don't know why they're red pinging. That's a big no-no when it comes to droning, unless you're just trying to scan people for so you know who's on the leaderboard. It looks like Ram is taking early tellers control, which is good for anybody roaming, for any cutoffs. I'm I'm confused why they're actually taking front side control though. Like, there's too much going on here. So it looks like Ram's going to be backing out, using that Ram gadget for any sound indication. I'm trying to just figure out what's going on here. So Castle sitting banana, contesting anybody with his Wumai being box. See, if they had somebody below, this would be a lot easier to actually contest. Because, I mean the attackers. If they had somebody below, maybe playing vertical, or just pressuring them because castle can basically sit here on this corner and just do this like they already picked off the thermite now castle is down but the round is is more likely to win on the defensive side just because they killed the hard breach they lit up they light up the my the sh shitty that they weren't able to pick them off but it is a 3v3 because the Ram picks off the Solus that was downstairs. But it looks like he's going to be picked off by Cade. But Cade is just looking like a fucking bot. Well, my retreats back in the site. So now, honestly, it's looking now like the regular champion players have surprisingly ha have the like, round advantage. They have the HP advantage. They have the intel that's needed.
They just need to pressure the cell properly. This man is going insane. The Ram gets a triple kill and is now a 3v1. Well, my swinging, it's a beautiful 4K. God damn, bro. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, booty killing. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the 13 bits. What's your thoughts on PC at the moment? A lot of cheaters, but uh, when there's not cheaters, it's very fun. What a shot. What a shot, bro. <clears throat> so the top 100 champs are now down two rounds. I'm so surprised. Good for them that these guys came back, especially after losing Thermite like that, man. Gonna be playing any more tonight? What, like Siege? No. After these three games, if, they, if it goes to a best of three, I'm done. I'm going to bed, man. I'm going to bed. I, I've been playing Siege for 10 hours. Uh, this is the longest stream I've done in literal years, bro. Yo, that dog headgear for the... Like, banner is really cool. I would love to do this style of video. What's up, liver? With, like, viewers. Like, if I do this more live on stream, it'd, it'd be mad cool. Because, like, usually when I do this alone, it, it feels... It gets boring after a while for myself. But I'm actually into this. Alright, so these guys decided to go vent. Hopefully, they can pull up this round. Looks like they're going to be reinforcing off detention. It doesn't look like that we're seeing much of an extension above, so they might just be playing horizontal. Which, if you guys don't know what horizontal means, it means that they're just playing the same level of floor that the bomb is at, like site, over. So they'll be playing bathroom, tellers, customs. They'll be extending all of this. But if you're playing vertical, that means that you're playing above and playing for, you know, lines of sight for windows and whatnot. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Yeah, we have literally everybody in sight. So, you know, it looks like it's freebies. They don't have much vert control if they pick off Ram. So they need to watch and make sure Ram stays alive because trying to get vert control is going to be a pain in the ass. It looks like they might actually be going for bathroom wall. Yoki sounds so familiar. It does for me. Told me. I told you having me would be fun. Okay, you're done. <laughs> Jaeger gets lit up through the barricade. He's re-swinging that. What a jackass. But they do have the dog, so he can afford to lose that. Oh my god, and Nomad takes early map control. Bro, these guys are a whole different team than what I saw last game. Jeez, man. So the top 100 champs are at a man disadvantage once again. And it looks like that the regular champs are taking bathroom control. But smoke is smokes off Ram. That is a lot of vertical control gone now, guys. That sucks, man. That sucks for the attackers. It's going to be very hard for them to take more map control and actually execute. Because after they open the wall, bro, what are they going to do here? Because they don't have customs control. They didn't open up detention. What Thermite needs to do right now here, chat, is he needs to rotate and open up detention. And Jackal needs to rotate and start getting vertical. He's the only one with a shotgun right now. Fades does get to get a nice self-heal. J09 does pick off the Valkyrie. It's, it's a 2v3. Top 100 champs are at a man disadvantage once again. I am so surprised. 2v2, Fades gets a pick off. Smoke can't control the SMG 11. He has three smokes. He smokes off the planner. And the, will he stick the plan? He will. 1v2 scenario. Smoke is left in a 1v1. He gets a triple kill. Can he kill the... Oh my fucking God. Yeah, this is console. I'm, I, I can't even cast that. That was so quick. Thermite got the instant trade. The refrag value and repositioning was so good there. Wow. Would you say Emerald and Diamond are very different? My it's right. No, it's it's literally like the same, bro. So the top 100 ch the, like champs, they are down 03 guys. This this is a whole different team than what I saw last game on Oregon. Maybe it was just Oregon. Maybe they're just better Oregon players. Maybe they're more structured. But damn, bro. Wow. This is literally the most competitive Siege I have watched in a while. Most Siege games that I play, especially on console, are not this competitive. People just run in, they die. But it seems like these guys are having structured attacks and defenses. Very interesting. I, I liked how I saw Smoke, by the way, last round. Rotating his shield. Rotating his utility. Just basic stuff that you don't see from a lot of good players. That you don't see from average players. I mean, not good players. Sorry for that. So the top 100 champs are not trying to lose this. 
I'm not seeing a lot of vertical on their behalf either besides the ram, which sometimes people that's fe that feels like all they need. But man, it's going to suck if that ram dies first. So what I think the top 100 champs are going to be doing here is they're going to be taking vertical control. And we're seeing a, a pretty basic castle strike here as well. It's weird that they castled off customs door. That, that's kind of weird. Not getting at least one round on D. It's going to be super freaking tough. Is that... Somebody spawn peeking? I thought I heard somebody spawn peek. Oh, no. We're seeing the J09 spawn peek chat. At, a at 247, he's going to wall bang. And usually you kill somebody. But uh, he did it too early and the crosshair placement was chalked. Okay, so as you can tell, we're seeing... Oh my god. Yoki got the first pick onto Ash. My bad. He. Oh my god. Solus got... Another frag too. God damn. My bad, guys. I didn't think they were going to be in that shit like swimwear. So top 100 champs are in a 3v5. They need to get some picks to relieve that pressure, which it's not looking good for them, man. We have floors and Twitch pushing detention. He, he, this man has to push in a mirror, but it doesn't look like anybody's actually playing into it. Mozzie just died because he's lost. Oh my God. Throw a C4. Throw a C4. Throw a C4. If he loses this one on the goddamn mirror, he's going to be toast. Oh, amazing tracking with that vector. 3v2, top 100 champs at a man disadvantage. They're going to have to play this very, very smart and slow to get these picks. They have a minute 40 to go, by the way. Them popping that mirror, those two mirrors, so solid. Solus is lighting that man up. Beautiful play on the Solus. 3v1 scenario. It looks like we're going to be going to a game three. Oh my god. Lors is left trying to take the one on the Solus on top metal. There's three stuns and he, they lose the round. The top 100 champs just lost. 4-0. Clean, bro. Chat, what map should we do next? We get to decide the map. So, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we pick Chalet. We pick Lair. We pick... What else do we got? Shit. Um. Fuck, give me some map suggestions. Ah, damn, bro. I can't believe they, they just lost that. Like that by 4-0. Good. I'm proud of them. So here's what I'm thinking. I don't want to go coastline. I'm thinking Villa. I'm thinking uh, Nighthaven Labs. I'm thinking Lair. And then I'm thinking Chalet. What do, what do we think? Low key, I want to see them on, on Villa. Kind of, I like I love Villa, man. But also Night Haven would be kind of crazy. Or do I do Layer? See that that's the thing though about Layer. I don't. You know what? We're not gonna pick Layer because it's too defensive side at the moment. You fucked it. Did you? And I'm worried that Night Haven's too defender side as well. So here's what I'm actually gonna decide. It's it's gonna be Chalet or Villa. Villa. See, here's what sucks about this. Who gets defense? Okay. Actually, attackers, attackers, blue team. Uh, blue team will start off as a... Uh, orange team will start off as attack, which will be, you know, jl 9s team because these guys started off on defense last game. Can I restart real quick? Go ahead, restart. Um... Damn, bro, I'm I'm surprised we're going map three. I was thinking Chalet, but I'm I'm just thinking about how defensive cider that shit is. Um, yeah, give me a second, Jail Nine. Relax, bro. Breathe, breathe. Uh, smoke. And ooh, smoke. And I'm gonna pick one of the top 100. Smoke and nah, y'all don't got defense because they had defense the first game. I mean, uh, they had defense last game. You had defense last game. It would would that not make more sense for the attacker or you guys to have, um, fucking defense first? Or am I trolling?
They had defense last game. Oh, did they? Oh, sh oh, they did. They did. My bad. My bad. My bad. Wait, did they? Did you? Did you attack? Yeah, you did. My bad. I'm I'm trolling. My fault. My fault. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Do chalet. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. Do y'all want to do chalet? Or do y'all want to do fucking villa? Can you invite? What was your name? What was your user? Jail 9 had D first game. Second game. Chalet was voted. Alright, fuck it. You can do Chalet. I, I like I like Villa more, to be honest, but that's just me, bro. I just thought Villa might be Villa might be a better better stomping grounds, no? But I right, fuck it. My girl's OF? What, bro? This man got invited to party. How the fuck do I invite him to game? What is this? Play bro, what? I can't invite this guy. No, I fucked it. Yo, yo, vote the poll right now, guys. Villa or Chalet? Damn, Chalet like busting that shit out of the water. Come on, three, five votes. Come on. I need more votes in this bitch. That's what I'm thinking. I, yo, I can't invite you, bro. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, can you get jail nine inv invite you or what? I I'm just gonna add you. I I'll see if I can invite. Invite to my party. I can't invite you, bro. Oh damn, Chalet, Chalet coming in close, guys. More of a strat comp. More strat comp. That's true. Yo, can nobody invite this fucking easy man or what? My voice going through the goddamn roof, bro. Okay. We good? All right, we good. We're going Villa. I'm not gonna lie. We're going Villa. Cause I like even though chat voted Chalet, I I I'm not gonna lie. I, Villa is more strat dependent. I agree with that. Chalet is more TDM. I like that. I like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everybody that wanted Chalet. All right. So Chalet got most votes. Fuck the votes. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck the votes. Okay, on the defensive side, we got Jail 9s team, which is the normal champions. And on the attacker side, starting out, we have the top 100. Okay. What does Jail 9 play on? What do you mean, what does he play on? <clears throat> Blitz as a ban is kind of wild. I'm not, not gonna lie. Is there like a Blitz meta on Villa for like people? Like, I don't think I've ever seen that be a prominent ban on Villa, but. Um, uh, does does somebody on the top 100 champ team play Villa? Oh, I mean play uh, Blitz. Castle ban is actually insane. That is a very underrated ban. Who banned that? The t the top 100 players. That's a good ban. Not trying to meet ride or anything. Same with the Finn here. Damn, bro. Playing Villa, strat wise, with to Castle too. Oh man, that's gonna be messed up. What's up, Dylan? Which team is top 100? Top 100. So basically, the attackers are top 100. These are all players that have or are top 100. So right now, they only have one top 100, which is 79, which is Nier. Um, which, by the way, Nier, he messaged me, asked me what operators to go. And I told him to go smoke and buck this game. Attackers need to locate and so I'm interested to see what type of setup can. we got on the mirror side. Well, defensive side. This is the third game of the best of three, by the way, chat. So, just so you guys know, the top 100 was the first game Oregon. They won that game. The top 100 players. Second game, the normal champs, they slammed on border. Sorry, my throat is dying right now, bro. <sighs> Vote quick. So, cap can being up is going to be kind of lethal, though. Especially if these guys don't have good droning down. I don't know if I'm messing with this mirror strat though, guys. What do you think? W or L? This mirror strat is such a L. <laughs> oh, bro. Alright. We're seeing an interesting lineup here. No hard reach. We have hard reach device though on bug. So what I, what I assume what's going to happen here, guys, is they're going to go for a horizontal over, which means that they're going to be taking master and they're going to be clearing that side of the map. So they don't need a hard reach because they're going to be trying to plant for vault. Doc is peeking bricks at the moment. He's swinging wide. Oh my god. J09, what are you doing, bro? Top 100 gets the first pick. 
on Doc. That is not the gameplay that they need to be playing, bro. This is the longest I've streamed last year. God damn. Buck gets a pick over onto Kate as well. My bad. I'm trolling. Is he playing Vert? Oh. So Top 100 is not playing around this game. They're already starting off very quick. Someone's top main, a zombie. Almost gets her head chopped off. Good refrag on a zombie's behalf. Gonna relieve that pressure. They need to pop those mirrors now for the people playing in study. Looks like Capcan is gonna go for a nice little quick little flank up top main. It doesn't really matter because nobody's over there. We have the entire top 100 team over by statue. They're gonna be burning the gates and they're gonna be trying to get an easy plant here. Conjure just got smoked as mirror. Oof, you need that mirror pod, bro. So Twitch is going to be going for a plan here with lots and lots of cover. I think it's going to be rushing at the zombie. Hey, you can afford to do this, man. Like, look at this. That goddamn mirror strat was so ass. Boo! Boo, mirror strat. That sucked. What's up, Osama Bench Chompin? <laughs> what? <laughs> that guy's calling a Rooney a zombie. I, I keep saying a zombie. My bad. I meant to say a Rooney. My bad. My bad. Shh. Yeah, bro. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been playing too much Siege today. My voice is is kind of getting smoked. Is Anifex as big as people say? Yes. He's a big man. Okay, so it looks like these guys are gonna swap up their defense. They're bringing more, let's say, um, non gold mirror strats operators. So they are going trophy statue this time. They're bringing the zombie, which they should be bringing on every single Defended. site, in my opinion. JO9 needs to lock the hell in and not be overpeaking shit that he shouldn't be overpeaking. So a zombie's setting up with a very basic master hold. So what I think is going to happen here is these guys are going to be setting up for master. And you're going to see the top 100 players taking study over. They're going to go horizontal over. I don't think they're going to feed into the master. Because if you look at their lineup, especially last round... These guys tend to just go horizontal. They don't have any primary hard breach. They have Buck. They have Finca. They have Twitch. They have Jackal. None of these guys can open a breach like Thermite, Ace, whatever. Even if Buck has hard breach device. And bringing the IQ is going to be really good for those Velcams, man. So they already have a pre-placed top red. They know that Valkyries are 90. These guys need to be able to readjust that strat, bro. Because they're, they're setting up like it's ranked, which is totally valid, but... They need to be ready for somebody going for... Oh god, wait, what? They need to be ready for the horizontal zig. Yeah, they, they know that Valkyrie's somewhere around downstairs. Valkyrie's gonna be stuck in this corner and now she's being droned out. This is gonna be an easy frag. Wait, what? Did he miss drone him? Oh, that timing. Valkyrie does get away just with a lick of a foreskin. Yeah, no, that mirror strat was bad. I don't know what bro thought he was cooking. Valkyrie just gets away with a lick of her life, bro. Wow. They let her, they really let her get away. These guys do have bottom main control, and it looks like they already have the presence needed for horizontal. The defenders are not looking good here, man. I'm not gonna lie. Good C4 over on the buck. That's gonna take any hard breach capability away. It also takes the soft destruction. Poof. It looks like this sexy little... Uh, is this a zombie, bro? No, it's it's Jaeger. My bad. I, I'm fried, bro. Jaeger going to be fl flanking up top main. I don't know if they have any cams. It looks like Nomad is setting up a jab for it. Looks like nobody expects it. Fades will be checking the top main flank. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the lord doing? Jaeger does get picked off. But we are in a 3v4 scenario. They just can't let them walk in statue. Geo9 is not looking good over there with that low HP. It looks like these guys are going to try to walk in a statue. They're droning on master just to see where the head holes are and where these guys are positioned. Geo9 just gets a double frag. Double kill. Frags off phase goodnight. This Twitch does walk in the, in the site. Where's IQ at? IQ is memo. God, too many angles you're peeking into. That sucks, man. Oh. Joe 9 knows he wants that frag. He wants that triple kill. He doesn't want people talking down on his name, but 
needs to just play a little bit passive. These guys do have bomb. Well, my does not need to swing with, with GL9 being this freaking low, man. With 30 seconds on the board, it looks like the top 100 players are going to probably lose this round unless these guys are absolute monkeys and are idiots like this. He does have to plan. There you go. Thank God. What's up, Ice Cold? We had a famous celebrity in the chat. <sighs> Good round. Good round on the on the normal champions. The normal champions, bro, I'm not going to lie. They should have not did that mirror strat first round. That shit was so ass. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, like that was, that was awful, man. Like, I don't know actually what they were thinking. Like, they, they turned from the best gamers on a border to, to pulling out that dog shit mirror strat. Guys, like, what, what was that? That was like the mirror strat you dropped when Villa first came out, bro. For secure area. Like, stop, bro. I'm very surprised, though, that the top 100 players lost that round. It, it, they really, I really thought they were going to have that Valkyrie, like, dead quick. But the flanks, man, like, they need to just have somebody dedicated Attackers watching both flanks at all times. Please tell me these guys went kitchen. Okay, so these guys, for some reason, went study side, which, I don't know. Personally, I think even living room would have been better than going this site. It's just, it's, it's too easy to attack. Because people attack it so freaking much, right? But what we are seeing differently here is we are seeing the pulse and we're seeing GL9 on the Malusi. I don't know what pulse is doing. I think he doesn't want to be spotted. So that's interesting. Good for him that he didn't get spotted. We are seeing the Jackal pick once again though, which it will suck for the anybody roaming. Like for example, the pulse. If the Mozzie's trying Attackers to get active. To a bomb and but it looks like all five of these guys are going to be coming together. Like, they're going to be coming together. They're going to be coming for this Pulse. And Pulse looks like he's already scanning for the Nomad. And honestly, Nomad rotating his push kind of just saved his own life. Pulse is all the way down in basement trying to find anybody. It looks like he just sees the people repelling. It, I don't know what the hell they're doing. So they're looking, looking like they're going for an astral pug. Oh, Pulse! Pulse gets an easy frag onto Nomad because he just raw dogs it. What the hell are you doing? Drone, bro? Wow, that was stupid. Twitch gets early control of Master, but it looks like Jaeger will be holding him down. We're seeing a duel coming out from them. Jaeger almost lost all of his HP. It's good that he's rotating back to site. And the normal champions do have man advantage. Just by slight, because this man is low. Yeah, they were coming together. It looks like fro it looks like Pulse will be getting traded off by Twitch, which isn't the best situation to be in, to be honest, because now it is technically going to be a 3v4 if Jaeger gets killed. And then Lucy gets killed trying to get a flank down. Honestly, these guys are doing way too much. They get the early pick and then they do shit like that. Why is Malusi, as a 3-armor, roaming across the goddamn map? Can somebody please tell me? Jaeger is literally 1 HP. You do not need to give up 2 picks like that. Like, they were literally coming together. All 5 of them. They were coming everywhere. They even gave you a free cookie. Look at this shit. Mozzie is engaging. Uh, it looks like one's going to be rotating 90 window. So these guys are basically trapped in freaking sight. Because these guys are both on skull. And then we're going to have Buck going, rotating up main. He's spotted on the cam, but it doesn't really matter because everybody's in freaking sight. What's up, Husky? How you doing, man? Oh, Capian's actually going to get his head chopped off. Literally yanked. And we reinforce the double bar wall. So, uh, Jaeger is getting a pick on Jackal as 1 HP, but he gets instantly traded off by Twitch. Yoki is left in a 1v3 scenario. Yana is 1 HP, going to play the refrag 2v1 scenario. Now Buck is going to be swinging, double kill, 1v1 scenario, almost kills the Twitch. Twitch is going for the frag. He doesn't have the C4 hole. He doesn't have a C4, so it doesn't even matter. 1v1, he doesn't hear him planning. It looks like Twitch is now going to be backing up towards maps. Might even go towards Skull. And this is a very losable situation on Mozzie's behalf. He's, he's, is he going to actually... <gasps> stick, bro! Stick! Post don't fake! Post don't fake! Post don't fake! You could have. Everybody knows that. Post don't fake, bro. Post don't fucking fake. We, we, you all know that. Just, just, just stick it. You would have won. <laughs> Wait in one of the cat picks. You promised me. Wait, where did I promise you that? 
Damn, bro. I'm disappointed. That would have been such a sexy clutch if he outsmarted and stuck to the fuse, bro. Damn, bro. So the top 100 champions are up to one. Damn, that was a close round. I'm I'm so sad he didn't stick. Uh damn, bro. He's so <laughs> rusty. Oh man. Damn, bro. Top 100 players are Defenders, protect your bombs bringing a little bit different of a lineup. They're bringing, once again, a Warden with a Thunderbird. A lot more aggressive, a lot more flexible operators, we can say. Because with the smoke, you can play top main. You can play in, in vault. You can play anywhere and be effective literally anywhere. Same, I guess you can say, with Warden because he can deny the flashes. Which, as you can tell, these players actually use their, uh, you know... They're, they're warden abilities, so that's solid. Thank you, Ice Gold. Have a good night. Sleep well, handsome. Wow. Okay. Yeah, like I said, we see smoke on top of me. So, we're not talking about it's definitely Zim, or am I dumb because that's not controlling Attackers movement? Um, he, he might be. I, I don't really pay attention to that, like I said at the start of this. There's nothing I can do if somebody's Zim, to be honest. Hey, what's up, Lee? Okay, so it looks like we're seeing the same attack strategy coming from these guys. They're going from 90 over, which is very common in champ elo. Basically, you have somebody repelling on 90 window, and then you have the rest of your team clearing the map over. As you can tell, they're going bottom up, which is quite risky, to be honest, because there's a lot that they're going to have to clear. Villa's a huge map with a lot of corners, bro. And you only have, like, three minutes. So this is going to be quite... Difficult to be honest. Ram going from basement is wild. Fade's got this really good Azami strat that's gonna be super hard to peek into if they go either way. Something I see a lot on console is well, my roaming a lot, bro. It's very, it's very weird. So JL9 does get fragged off by Thunderbird and <laughs> Yoki, which was the buck, got fragged off as well by Wamai. It's now left up to the Jackal, Twitch, and that's it because another one just got fragged off. These guys are playing too solo on Villa. They are they wanted the, this map too because they said it's more comp heavy, but they're not playing together. So now they just got to hope that these guys play like monkeys, run at them, and give them ones and even up the man count. They, these guys have a minute 30 though, so they can work the map and bait as much as they want. But if these guys were smart, as you can tell, they're rotating shields... They're holding down 90. Like, the top 100 players are in a very good position to win this round. He's trying to get the shield on top of uh, 90 bookcase, but... I'm not going to lie. There's a whole lot of nothing coming out of the attackers at the moment. We, we have Twitch possibly going up top main. He's slowly trying to not make audio. The beeper goes off, sadly, so that sucks. His Twitch drone, if he used the Twitch drone, he could have destroyed that, which he has two in pocket. You have two Twitch drones in pocket, bro. Just use your utility. You're about to get shotgun too, bro. Oh my god. Thunderbird's running away, and there's a lot of just Terry Foxing. And what I mean by Terry Fox, Canadian legend Terry Fox was a um was someone who had cancer in like the 70s and 80s, I want to say 80s, who ran all across Ontario and just Canada. And he raised money for cancer research, and it's something that we do in Canada. So what I mean by Terry Foxing was that they're just doing a whole lot of running, bro. What's up, San? They're doing a whole lot of running. Sadly, they're not do having as much impact as Terry Fox did while, you know, running across the goddamn Ontario. And they did a whole lot of nothing that round, I'm going to be honest. But Terry Fox is a goddamn Canadian goat. So the top 100 players are up 3-1. And it looks like we are going to have an uneventful, easy win on their behalf. Um, if that happens, because that attacking was probably uh, the literally the, the, mo the most disgusting attacking round I've seen in my existence. Like, it looked like I watched five chickens with their head cut off run around. Terry Fox was a Chad. Terry Fox was a goddamn goat. Let's go. Great Canadian history out there, my peeps. I gotta put you all guys on. Because I, I, I said that before, that somebody was running around like Terry Fox, and someone took it as disrespect. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm literally just using it as a reference point. Just a whole lot of running going on. No disrespect. Terry Fox is a goddamn goat. Bro, was from Nova Scotia, I believe. 
Was it Nova Scotia? Yeah, Nova Scotia. Look him up if you don't know who he is, guys. I was getting some quick matching with friends on Rainbow, and now we in a custom. Uh, now, uh, it's for a YouTube video I'm posting tomorrow. What's up, Salty Santa? 123, how you doing, buddy? And if you guys didn't know, I do have my own in game charm, so if you guys do want to subscribe, you, you guys can. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it's top 100 champs are looking to close this out. They have a very aggressive lineup, but at the same time, cheeky, because Fades is bringing the goddamn Azami. As you can tell, he is making a hole in the dresser, which will allow him to peek bricks if possible. And also, if they try to walk in sight and plant, he can kill them. These guys, the regular champs, need to step it up, actually play off of one another. Not all be five headless chickens. Because this doesn't look like the team I watched on border that just furrowed these guys. So what I'm seeing here once again is just another 90 overtake, which once again for Villa is so freaking common. Did this guy just get smoked by a SMG? 12? Oh nah, Buck. Buck just got sent to cams, bro. So they know one one's on one's on cams right now. Are they are they droning anything for top main? Like what's good? They don't know that Warden's bar. That might bite them in the goddamn ass if they don't drone him out, bro. Look at this guy. He's playing close skull. He's trying to shoot the cam. Crosshair placement really good. Close on that door frame. He just backs up skull. Is anybody 90 yet, bro? Like, what? what's up, man? Why is nobody 90? What the hell is happening, bro? Oh, nah, bro. Why are you swinging like that? 5v2 coming in. It looks like the controller players are at such a man disadvantage. 4v1. Oh, man. I really did not want to see this end like this. It's all up in IQ's hand. 3v1, but they do have the bomb. So IQ's going to have to get something going. 2v1. God damn. He really wanted to give him the chance to win. Smoke is 1 HP, bro. Top 100 players in a 2v1 scenario, IQ needs to utilize any drones that she might have. Which I don't think she has any cams. So she might have to raw dog this like my father before he left. I reiterate that reference. Seriously, dad, where you at? Hmm? So we have the warden rotating all the way... I mean, not warden. I mean, Doc rotating all the way back to Skull. He's going to be making head holes... IQ is going to be rotating once again, hopefully not doing a lot of Terry Fox running. The smoke almost gets wall banged. That would have sucked. He is dropping down to mud from the like, what, what is he doing? He's going up right now. Oh, oh, this might be the play. Oh, hell nah. Peak. Oh, oh, double kill. Smoke is one HP. Oh, he's not one HP. Actually, he got dock stemmed. This guy's fucking shaking, man. He is shaking. That'd be dad on blast live to Yeah, fuck my dad. Smoke has left in a 1v1 19 seconds ago. It doesn't look like there's any cams. Looks like this guy's aimlessly walking around maps. And they won? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is not how I expected this game to not end. Okay. So, match point for the top 100 players. They kind of just through i think on purpose a little bit uh i don't know what he was doing but you know we get an extra round i guess they give them another round to try to you know get their shit together because this is actually kind of embarrassing what i'm watching right now i'm really hoping that these guys can actually come together as a team and not get raw dogged bro is definitely zim yeah it's looking like it uh, anyway so the top 100 players we got a, a zombie which honestly if you're not running a zombie on Villa, you're trolling. Azami is the most beautiful Attack woman I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Bomb. They're going the same site. I don't know if they're looking to close this or bring this OT because at last round they had a TK. And I don't know, that was kind of wild. We're seeing a very default head hole site setup for Closet as well. Anybody to jump again Closet will now have to worry about triple wall, have to worry about getting swum from bathroom, getting swum from master, getting swum from goddamn everywhere, up my asshole. Once again, talking about the regular champion players, it looks like they're bringing the same horizontal 
um, operator selection, which means that they're going to be playing aggressive. Which, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't think this is this team's strong suit. They should not be playing horizontal over because they are getting killed way too easy. They should have somebody on 90 window. They should have somebody walking up red a lot earlier. So, I don't know if they're just gonna go master, but they need to get their shit together. We're seeing a lot more LMG play, which I honestly didn't think I would see. Jackal is taking early map control, which is very solid. I don't know if somebody's on a drone for him. It looks like that IQ actually is. So that's going to be good for Jackal. Getting early map control is always solid. You might catch somebody off guard. We have two people going study. It looks like Smoke is going to be pushing back. Thunderbird playing top red and then Doc 90. This is why you need an attacker on 90 though, guys. Or anybody rotating here. They need to push the goddamn pace. It looks like we actually do have somebody finally going 90, like I've been saying, guys. It's almost like they're in the stream listening to what I'm saying for coaching advice. I'm joking. I'm dog shit. You don't need to listen to me, bro. But I, I hope they wouldn't be in the stream. That'd be weird. Doc is going to be holding this down quite heavy in Aviator. They, it looks like there is a Z ping. I don't know if that's coming from Doc himself or what. But JL9 gives him a line of sight for what reason? Literally, what's the fucking reason here, guys? Fade Gnite, which was the zombie, dies pretty early. Doc almost dies, but as you can tell, Doc retreats. IQ is just coming up top red. We have a minute 30 to go. We don't really have... Oh, dude, you can't slow peek like that, bro. Come on. Have located a bomb. If he was last seen there, you need to be a little bit more active, bro. 3v4 coming in. Uh, top 100 players do have the man advantage. It's like they're not peeping that all these guys are map table side. Like, these guys are now just getting top main. Like, actually, what the hell is happening right now, guys? Not a single jackal track coming out. We have smoke on fireplace. Like, what is, what is getting achieved here, guys? Smoke is down, so that's amazing. But Doc, Doc can stem him if he gets close enough. He need can't. It looks like nobody's on site, by the way, but they don't have bomb. So, this IQ needs to make something happen, getting up this staircase. Dude, what? I've never seen Villa played like this, where the entire fucking team is over here. 2v3 scenario, IQ, hurry your ass up. You should have been up here. Jackal is getting swung, lights up the T-Bird. T-Bird has the shotgun out, he's too worried about... Oh, bro, I'm so disappointed in these guys. Top 100 players win. 4-2. That. Wow. Wow. So, you can't blame MNK. I'm not gonna lie. If anybody tries to blame MNK, you just watch map 2, bro. Map 2 was played so well from the top, like the normal champion players. Top 100 players fold it on border. So like, they, these guys just didn't play Villa which was the map that they wanted strategically. IQ needs a fucking map. Because holy shit, she needs to hurt their attacks. Oh, I, I already told JL9 I would host him, man. GG's JL9. I, I, I was a rune for y'all.